Baby G, due April 1st, 2023. Britt is 12 weeks pregnant. Her other backpacks came in. What you got there? Is this a new one or is this one? No, you had the other one, yeah. Very similar to the other one. Ah, oh, it's right there. It's a different company. Oh, yeah. Why would they put styrofoam in there? It's awful. It's an awful idea. So what is it? Alice in Wonderland. Disney backpack collection? Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop at four though. I think four is a little excessive. Another one. Do you have two others here? Yeah, I have a Pocahontas one in our closet. Oh, that's right. I love Pocahontas. Pocahontas, Hercules, Little Mermaid, some of my faves. Princess and the Frog is my absolute favorite though. Hercules! Hercules! Look at that. I'm such a kid. Will I ever grow up? Probably not. No. I've been watching Disney movies like every day at home. <laughs> the classics are good. Oh, the classics are so good. Okay, Old Blue. She sat all night here now. And remember, the starter wouldn't engage the motor when we were in Kenora. It almost stranded us. I had to play around with it for a few minutes before it would finally crank the engine. And then I left the engine just running till I got home so that I wouldn't strand myself somewhere else because the starter is going on it. But when I got it back here to the shop, the starter was working just fine. Of course. So we're gonna try it now. Maybe after sitting overnight, that's when it doesn't wanna work. And when, you know, when the engine's all warm, that it works better then. I'm gonna try it now and see what happens. I have to unlock it first. One second here. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, no, you didn't. There you are. Okay. And I gotta clean it out. And then, I go home and Britt and I are going into the city. I gotta pick up my glasses today. This is my final day waking up without glasses. I think I'm gonna look very sophisticated. Very smart. Mm. All right. Let's see. You think she's gonna go? Nope, there it is. Okay, well that's why we're getting it replaced on Tuesday. Hopefully I can get it going. Well, I'm glad I'm not crazy. Here, spinning, right? Okay. I'm glad it actually let me show you what it's doing. The starter sounds like it's spinning inside, but when a starter spins, it's supposed to, you know, shoot out the gear, which lines up with the truck gear, the truck engine, right? The start starting mechanism, and it starts the truck. But it sounds like it's not shooting out and engaging the motor. I tried tapping on it with a hammer. That fixes most things. Gotta get my trusty hammer, my fix it all hammer. Duty calls, my friend.
start, but that's what I was talking about. That's exactly what I was talking about. I don't have time this weekend to replace it. So I'm bringing it in uh, next week. I'm gonna take Monday and Tuesday this week off uh, while this thing's in the shop. It also needs to get a couple of other things done to it. That's why we're just gonna get them all done all at the same time. And uh, I'm gonna try to work through next weekend. So I'll take my weekend early this week. So Monday, Tuesday will be my weekend. And then next one, I'm gonna try to get some loads that'll keep me busy through the whole, the whole next week as well. That way I'm not losing any time on the road, right? All right, can you do it again, old boy? Do it again for me, come on. Tell me what you got. To do that one more time on Tuesday actually Monday I'm gonna bring it there Monday just get it running one more time and we'll bring it over there and then it's at the shop and uh, they can deal with it from there I'll just have to tell them you got to play with the ignition for a while you might have to give the starter a little taparoo I'm sure they got their own fix-it-all tools at their shop so I'll leave this one in I'll leave this one in here just in case if they need one. But that's what's going on. Fun. Starter is actually a pretty minor issue. I could replace it myself if I had the time. It's just, you know, life of a trucker. You, you sort of got to balance out. What's, it's $130 an hour to bring it to the shop. Like, right? It's a lot of money. So you got to sort of, weigh your priorities. The things I need to get done, are they worth $130 an hour? Because they can probably get that done in an hour. Is the stuff I need to get done worth that much? Yes, it's my anniversary weekend with my wife. I'm not gonna spend it all in here changing the starter, because it's gonna take me more than an hour. It'll probably take me half a day, because I'm slow. What? So I'm not gonna spend the time. It's worth the money for me, in this case, this weekend, just to bring it to the shop, get them to take care of it. There's also a few other things like uh, my driver's side beacon up here isn't working and I need that fixed. My heated mirror on the driver's side isn't working. I'm going to be replacing it with the new mirrors that I bought. Uh, so I'll probably do that this weekend possibly because that wouldn't take long. But either way, I gotta make sure that the heated mirrors are working and functional for the winter time. We made it here to pull. We're not at Polo Park. We made it here to Kildonan Place. <laughs> Want some gum? Yes, I do. Which backpack did you take today? Alice in Wonderland. Excuse me, sir. My husband will be in here at any moment. You look great. Do I? Check out those spectacles. It feels so weird. I can read things again, like far away. And you're getting a little bit of motion sickness. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a strange feeling because when you move like this, it warps at the edge of the, at the edge of your vision. So everything warps, then comes into focus, and then it warps back this side here. So it's like, yeah, you won't even notice that after, after a week or two of wearing those, possibly sooner. It's something. It's my husband. He's pretty good looking, huh? Well, that's not it. We got some other treats, too. Oh, yeah. Got the warranties, don't worry. <laughs> Watch it. That big O on there. Stands for, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oakley's. Prescription sunglasses for when I'm driving on the road. He wanted aviators, but I convinced him to get something that wraps a little bit more for sunlight. Yeah, this actually has really good coverage. Yeah, it'll still let a little bit in, but... Now I can protect my eyes from the sun while I'm driving and see where I'm going. What? I know. Techno they don't say. Technology. Right? It's 2022. It's amazing. 
These actually don't warp as much as those ones. When I go like this, these ones hardly warp at all. Just must be the way those lenses are made. This is the new me. They suit you. I hope you like it. Hope they don't all unsubscribe. Because of glasses. Give the human race a little more credit than that, babe. <laughs> well, today has been a big day. And if you follow us on social media, you uh, probably already know this, but we haven't mentioned it in the regular vlog series yet. We have some very exciting news. Baby G, do April 1st, 2023. We went in today to hear the heartbeat again. And yes, that's my birthday. I might have to share it. Five years in the making. Aww. It's an IVF baby. Nice. 163, you guys. 163, okay, yeah, they said it should be around 170 at this it point. It can be so. up to 180, actually. 180, okay. Yeah, no, this is, uh, at 12 weeks, then they start coming down. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So this is a healthy heart rate, then. Yeah, excellent. She's a wiggler or he, they, it. it. I don't want to call it an it. Baby G, baby G, baby G. We won't be finding out the sex anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is baby's front face, so can you see? Is a that a hand? Socket? There's yeah. an elbow here. An elbow. These are hiccups. Can you guys see that oh. little rhythm right there? Baby is the hiccups. Baby is the hiccups. Eye socket, eye socket, nose, mouth, chin, elbow up to a hand right there. Look at that beautiful little thing. <laughs> you got hiccups just like your mom always does. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Cushion here. <laughs> so right, you're the then, one who's been making me so sick. <laughs> Worth it. These are little legs down here that we've got. And then this is baby's spine. Can you see the little yep. white lines? That's oh, yeah. the spine. And there's the little arm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, Britt is 12 weeks pregnant. Today. 
What do you got here? Baby's heartbeat is 163 beats a minute. If you guys haven't seen these before, I hadn't. This is a uh, heartbeat sorry, bear. They actually recorded, that was the actual heartbeat of the baby. They recorded that just today. They recorded on a little heart shaped uh, recorder and then they put it into the stuffed animal and then you squeeze it every time you want to hear it. So we got this for the baby and this is a onesie that I bought for the baby but also for the announcement because it's rainbow baby, which means a uh, 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 child born after infant loss or pregnancy loss. It's like a little miracle baby. A little miracle baby. A science baby. Science baby. That's right. Thank you, science. IVF success. Yes. First try, too. Yeah, we got very lucky. First shot. Yeah, we still have one embryo left. So there might be a second second one coming down the road in the future. We'll see. If it doesn't happen naturally after this, maybe our bodies will just know what to do. Yeah, but it's been very, very hard for us not to say anything. Very hard. <laughs> very hard. But we wanted to wait until we were sure that... Uh, the, baby that baby had a heartbeat and that everything was well, baby was healthy. And we saw it today on the uh, ultrasound, baby had hiccups. We saw <laughs> it moving around, wiggling. It was very, very exciting. So. Extremely surreal right now. Also because aside from feeling like I have the flu 24 seven for the last seven weeks, I don't feel anything, I'm not showing or anything. But it'll be a while yet. So that's the big news. I don't know if you've uh, figured it out or not because I'm very bad at keeping secrets. <laughs> and I kept rubbing my stomach in videos I noticed. Yeah. I don't Every know if anyone else noticed, but I caught it after he put them together. Everywhere we go now, she's always got her hand on her stomach. Gotta always protect protecting my baby. baby. <laughs> We're not going to find out the gender if it's nope. male or female until uh until he or she gets here. We already have two names picked out. Whether or not we'll use them, we'll see. We gotta meet the kid first. Right. We're not gonna tell you the names. No. I'm gonna try my best to keep a secret. Well, it's easy to keep secrets on the blog because it's not live. And you if I accidentally, yeah, I can edit it if I let stuff slip. It's just when we live stream, I've gotta be very careful. Yes. <laughs> We're just calling them it, he, possibly she. Baby. Baby G. Baby G. Baby G's friend. Boy or girl, we don't really care. Either nope. way, as long as they're healthy. Mm -hmm. I finally get what parents mean when they say that. Yeah. You really do not give a crap <laughs> what sex they are at all. As long as they got a strong heartbeat, good lungs, good brain, they're going to have a good, fulfilling life. You're happy. We have a pregnancy app. Uh, what's it called again? Uh, pregnancy Plus or pregnancy something? Pregnancy Plus, I, yeah. I can't remember. I have the husband part of it. You can either put it, like, install it as the husband or... As the father or the mother. The father or the mother. Yeah. Yeah, pregnancy with a little plus sign. Did I say the husband? The husband. Husband yeah. of the pregnant woman. You guys know what I meant. You don't gotta be married, though, to make a baby, as we know. <laughs> <laughs> In his case, he's the husband. And uh, it actually shows what the baby looks like right now. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not, but... Uh, it's a little bright. Uh, if I go a little closer, there we go. That's actually uh, what the baby looks like. You can see the little lungs in there. See the heart. Oh, I don't know if you can see the heart beating yet, but you can follow week by week. And that is in your belly right now. Isn't that weird? It is. You have a little human inside of you. Mm -hmm. Who's been making me very ill. <laughs> She's had crazy, crazy nausea and morning sickness. Bad. And not just morning. Morning, noon, and night. Yeah, she's been sick nonstop. Since about five and a half weeks. So that's why she hasn't been showing up in the vlogs as much, because usually when I'm at home, she's very sick. And not looking so good. Looking a little <laughs> yeah. green around the gills. Yeah, so. we didn't want to give it away. And we uh, didn't want to get everyone all excited until we were uh, confident in sharing the news. So, yeah, today's the day. Yeah, today we got to hear the heartbeat and we got to see baby and heartbeat is very strong. 
Uh, so we have some more peace of mind. We just wanted to get closer to the end of the first trimester before we shared any news because, well, especially for those of us who have been in bad situations with pregnancies before, it can be a little bit of a, a nervous time. And I have been very nervous. And I explained to them, <coughs> excuse me, I explained to them too that uh, uh, the risk of miscarriage, it's, it's very high in the first little while, the first trimester, and we don't want to announce it to the entire world online, get everybody all excited that, oh, they're pregnant, and then have to announce that it didn't work out. It just kind of adds a little extra hurt to the situation when you gotta yeah. reiterate things and re-examine and, and explain, because we've yeah. been there before. And on YouTube, it doesn't end right away either. People watch these videos years later, and then they're still sending us messages and comments. Oh, how's the baby? Is the baby there? Or or what happened watch. to the baby? And then yeah. they didn't watch. They don't know. And then you have to relive all of the the, the hurt the, over the hurt that it uh, yeah. didn't work out. So it can be very difficult. And they're so. done that. We weren't going to do that again. So.